So when we uh, open the task here, for example, and set up and maintenance, and we try to create a job or a position, we can find that. Let's say when I go to job task here. Try to create a job here. We can find the two attributes, job code and name. Both are uh, manual entry, no automatic generation. Uh, but client wants to have automatic generation, even for positions also. When I go to manage positions uh, task, for positions, what happened? Uh, code is generated automatically, configuration and name is manual entry. Okay. Okay, so here, uh, if the client wants to set this is in different method, like the automatic to manual or manual to automatic. So what we have to do is uh, we have to go to the task here, uh, enterprise uh, LCM information. Manage enterprise HCM information. Once we go to enterprise and CM information, there will be a lot of setups here, enterprise name and uh, workday information for enterprise and uh, worker number generation, person number generation, person number duplicate check, and initial person number, employment model, two tier or three tier, setting up the flex field structure. And uh, we will also find user creation setup. When we are hiring an employee, what happened, uh, the user account might be created automatically, but now client wants to go for uh, you know, manual setting up the user account, not automatic. Or maybe client says that I don't want user account for everybody, every employee, then user account generation we have to change. Will be different options here. Yeah, and party users only, person and party users. Person means uh, employees, party users, basically suppliers and uh, customers. That's the user account setting up. And we can find here position synchronization concept. And uh, Here I can see workforce structures configuration. Position code generation method. Here uh, automatic uh, one final save. Prior to submission, manual. Automatic prior to submission means before we submit for approval itself, number will be added. Automatic upon final save means after approval, the number will be added. Manual means manually we have to enter this. Manually we have to enter this. That's the position code generation. Initial position code. Same thing for job code generation. For job code also, I can see that here. Same options. Automatic prior to submission. Automatic up. Depends on the requirement. We can also set what is the initial job code. So that whenever we try to configure it works. For example, uh, for job code also, I wanted to set automatic uh, prior to submission. Uh, initial number, let's start with this here. And when we are searching for uh, workforce structure objects, uh, what is the minimum search characters? Generally three characters, so uh, system will ask us, right? Generally system will ask us three characters, but we can also specify the number of characters required for searching purpose. For searching purpose, it will be used. Right. So now we said job code generation is uh, automatic as well as position code generation also is automatic. Both we have done. Go to review button. Go for search. The request is submitted successfully here. 
we have done successfully. Let me cross check whether it's working or not. Let's go to the task here, job. Not working. Away from today, it's eight. Let me cross check why it's not working. Let me just log out and log in. Try to Before we go for generate, I'll cross it once whether it's updated or not. Manage uh, enterprise at CM information. The first effect to start it is from 1st January 1950. Initial job could also be said. It's fine. Not done. I don't know why. So let me check with the position setup change. Right now, the position is uh, automatic. So let me go back to position. Position board is generated automatically. That's fine. Let me change from automatic to manual process. Configuring it as manual process.
position is working. Immediately it came for manual process, but uh, for the job it's not. So where it's for job why it's not auto generation. Yeah, that that's maybe it takes some time, but uh, in case in the entry point of view, or even if we are working in the project, uh, in case if they ask us like uh, we want to generate the uh, uh, no code uh, dynamically, then we'll try to uh, auto generation like this. These are different options. So that's that's about uh, different options which we will find uh, when we are working. Uh, the, Job structure change and uh, position structure, like uh, how many methods we have and where do we come. It's very important. Okay. So that level. Yeah. Thank you.